after surviving two brain tumour scares, we are very fortunate to uh, hear the story from two very special friends who are on the couch this morning. We know him very well. The six o'clock show is Martin King and photographer Jenny McCarthy join us now. Hello, the husband-wife duo that we all adore <laughs> and love. It is lovely to have you here this morning. Oh, it's great to be here. And to have a chat. But it is great to be here, Jenny, because, you know, we're talking about something so serious because in 2011, wasn't it? Yes. Mm. You yeah. first discovered that you had... Well, 2010. Had, 2010, that you yeah. had brain tumour. 2011, it was when it was removed. Yeah. Yes. That's right, yeah. Um, so for the whole summer of uh, 2010, because I shoot weddings, I was having sort of really um, awful pain behind my right eye, um, especially when I was doing weddings. And I sort of was putting it down to the adrenaline um, around a wedding day. Mm. Um, and eventually I, at the end of the summer, because I leave everything till the last minute, I went uh, to the doctor to find out what's going on here. It's probably a migraine. Um, and he said, yeah, I think it is a migraine. But you know what, if you were my wife, I'd send you for an MRI scan. And I was laughing at the time because I thought, geez, that's a bit drastic, isn't it, for a migraine? And uh, yeah, I went for an MRI scan and there was a brain tumour on my frontal lobe. So I had to have that removed then, um, early part of 2011. Now you're saying, and I had to have that removed. I mean, mm. that initial shock. Tell us about that initial shock. Yeah. Telling Martin, telling everybody, how did you cope with that? No, I told Jenny. Yeah, Martin that she told had a brain me. <laughs> I was the one because Jenny rang me and she said, I went for that scan. I'm off to get a call from the doctor. He wants to see me at five o'clock this evening. What's going on? So I rang the doctor. And I kind of knew there was something going on. I just thought I it was said, all very bizarre. And I, and I said, John, what's, what's happening? What's going on? Uh, and he told me, he said, Look, they found a brain tumour. So I was editing <laughs> yeah. some work. up the road in our <laughs> other studio. Uh, so I had to go in, say nothing, do the show. And then go home, collect Jenny, bring her to the doctor. And when we got to the doctors, I said, look, she said, why am I here? So I told you before you went in yeah. what was going on. I was fuming, though, because I kind of knew all day there's something going on here with, and nobody is telling me. And I got into the doctor. Martin was already after telling me and we got in and he, and he said, so how are you? And I said, I'm raging. Why couldn't you tell me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I suppose um, they don't want to tell you news no, like that I over understand. the phone. Yeah, I understand. You know the way you kind of say, I knew something was wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do when you don't, like, are you hoping against all hope yeah. that it's just something small? I thought that maybe it was a clot or yeah. there was something in my head. I knew there was something in my head. I just had that gut feeling. And so he said, yeah, it's a, it's a brain tumour. And just the next thing I said to him was, you know, well, am I going to die? Like, it's, is it, is it, is it going to kill me? And he said, I've been thinking about what you were going to say to me all day. And I knew you would say that to me. And he said, to be honest with you, I, I don't know. I don't know if you're, you're going to die, but it's benign. Um, it's primary. It's not secondary. Um, it's fairly big. And uh, I have an appointment already made for you to see um, a brain surgeon in two weeks time. And I said, oh, I'm not waiting two weeks. I said, oh, I, I want to go tomorrow. Yeah. So we made an appointment anyway the following day. We went to see somebody. We shopped around. We had to shop and around for a brain surgeon. Wanted, let me so. tell you. What do you mean you had to shop yeah, around? Yeah, Alan, I mean, unbelievable. Like that story in itself is a whole other, but I'll just briefly tell you. Um, we went to see the first guy who, who said, that he, you know, he Ireland wanted really... wanted you to go to France. Yeah, yeah, Ireland really wasn't the place to take this out. And he could do it, but he didn't want to do it on his own. France so I was like, America. next. So then we went to see another guy and he said to me that because of the area it's in, it was very close to my speech area, that um, he would leave it there until it turns malignant and then have a look at it. And asked me, did I have um, an insurance policy, a critical illness insurance policy, because I was covered and if I needed a new kitchen to go and get a new kitchen. And I'm thinking, I don't need a kitchen. He's not I the guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's this got to do with anything? So I don't like understand. Are you, are you bartering down a market? Like, honestly, what the hell? No, honest, this is fact. Then we went to see somebody else in a different hospital and he told me that he was the only one in Ireland to take it out. I wasn't to go near anyone else but that he would take it out. And if it did come back, um, it would kill me the next time. So Martin nearly killed him. And then I found Kieran Bulger, who I just think is an absolute legend. And he's in Beaumont Hospital and he took it out. But you went through this. Yeah. So you got that news yeah. and you had to do this. Yes. That is absolutely yeah. shocking. Yeah, absolutely shocking. But but but, 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 but even though yeah, it was a it was a horrible it was a horrible thing to have to do. Yeah. But to shop around was the right thing. Oh, it was to the do. right thing to do. For I sure. understand that, but we spend per capita some of the most money on our health budget in the world. Yeah. 
And for a doctor to say, oh, God, don't get it done here. Make yeah. sure you go to a different country, France yeah. or America. Yeah. You're like, no, some people don't have that opportunity or that option. Mm -hmm. Like, that's... No, no mind dealing with your own situation. Just going, what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. I, uh, look, I, I, we, of course, when you when you venture down a road like that, whether it's to do with your brain, your heart, your lungs, whatever, you're going to hear varying stories. And we had heard from a number of people. Uh, we got great support, but we heard from a number of people saying, America, go to America. Mm -hmm. That's where they have incredible. Wow. But we found a guy mm -hmm. uh, who was incredible. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, so when, when, what was your first meeting with him like then? That you decided this is the guy for us. Well, I just, I had the disc with my scan on it. And I said, just, can you look at that and tell me what you would do? Because I haven't had a good experience so far. And I kind of sort of told him what had happened. And I said, like, I, I don't know what to do here. What would you do? And he said, I'd take that out. And I said, so can you take it out? And he said, yeah. And I said, do you think you'll be able to get it all? He said, I can't guarantee. He said, but I'd be fairly sure I could take it all. And I said, so when can you do it? <laughs> start, we start actually talking about when he could do it and how many weddings I had and can I still do 18 weddings before Christmas and then go and do it? And he said, yes. And Martin was like, can you, can you not do it now? Yeah. Watching two people with diaries going, no. I know, because <laughs> you're a workaholic. Yeah. Like you are. Mm. And, and you've built an incredibly successful business. But as your husband, like you were sitting there going, Jenny, please, <laughs> just, just go in. And like I can't, like for you sitting there going, come on. I know, like, like I, I knew from from chatting chatting with Kieran when he said, "Look, it's benign. It's in a good place. We can get at it, um, and you don't have to have it done now." I knew, okay, well, I know what's she's she's worried about the people she might have to let down. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I knew, okay, so we can wait till February, mm -hmm. um, and then off we went. What, what surprised me was the reaction, Every, like the the brides you contacted to say, "Listen." There's a bit of a thing coming up. I think there's only one or two of them that kind of threw a wobbler. Oh, there was one that threw an absolute wobbler and told me Sorry, my brain tumor is getting in the way of your like, old wedding there. Sorry, yeah. I, I didn't want this, but... Yeah. <laughs> but well, you went in, you had the operation, then the recovery of the first time was actually okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was really good. Actually. But you've mentioned there the, the first time. time. Because the first yeah. time. then, unfortunately, it reoccurred. Yeah, just before Christmas, I realised it was back. Mm -hmm. um, How did you realise it was back? Just, I was having like awful stabbing pain just behind my ear, just like a, a knitting needle going in and been pulled straight back out. And it was just, it was chronic pain, like just for a second and then it would go. And eventually again, I just thought, oh my God, I didn't go for my scan last year. I really should get that scan done. And I rang Kieran's office and just said, look, I didn't go for that scan last year. I think I should go because, yeah, I'm having pain behind Why my ear. Why didn't you go? COVID. 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 Was it just and Kieran had actually said to me a few years ago, we might start stretching these out a little bit now because okay. it is, you know, a, a while ago now. Yeah. And I remember saying to him, no, you're grand. I still get them every year. I prefer to do yeah. that. Mm. But I did think last year, well, I might just leave it for this year. If somebody else probably needs it more than I do, uh, and I'll go next year. So I went and had the scan and, um, yeah, it had grown back. Benign. Yep. Nine again, still in the same area. It had grown back. Yes, it had grown back. So now, Kieran went in the first time and got everything he could see on the microscope yeah. that he was working with. But he said there was obviously something in there that was he missed and it grew back. So he obviously had to go in deeper this time because he had to go in past the first area and go in uh, behind that and go in and get this new one out, which was fairly big. You know? When what? Because you're sitting here talking to us, looking like Jenny McCarthy, looking <laughs> like you always do. When is all this going on? And, uh, and you know, we see you on our screens all the time, Martin, yeah. being the effervescent, fabulous Martin King that we adore, <laughs> and all this is going on in the background. Yeah. So, well, we like, found it November fifteenth mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. we discovered it was back, and we knew that come February, uh, the surgery was going to take place. So yeah, yeah, it was it was tough. She pulled a fast yeah. one on me um, the day she was going into the hospital. Uh, she's she. You had to go over for. I just don't like drama. Pre like. pre surgery scans, and, she, and then I'll be back, and then yeah. I'll go over, and uh, and be admitted because she had to go on her own because of COVID. I couldn't oh, go, so uh, packed her case, and uh, and I said, and so she said, look, I'm I'm heading off to get these scans done, so she's gone, and I thought, you know, before I leave for work, I'll bring her case down and just leave it at the door, one less thing for her to do, yeah. and I went up, and the case was gone. And I realised she's, she's gone. gone. She's not coming back. Yeah. And and Jenny, yeah. at, after that operation, 
the recovery wasn't as easy. It was it awful. Was, it was terrible it recovery, was absolutely wasn't it? awful. I ended up back in hospital three times. Um, I just had severe nausea and awful headaches. I had to put a scarf on my head the whole time because I couldn't even look at the light. It was so bad. It was awful. Um, it lasted three or four weeks. Um, yeah, it was pretty bad, you know. And it wasn't like that the first time. It was actually yeah. fine the well, first time. It's because he had to go in deeper yeah. this time. Yeah, but I reckon so, actually. The prognosis is... Good. good. Yeah, it is good. Really good. Well, he got it all again. <laughs> got it all again. <laughs> yes. Like, this is So amazing. please, God, it doesn't come back ever again. With that, but obviously, <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. assuming scans. You'll take a scan once, yes. and, <laughs> once a week. Martin would have you in yeah. for a scan if he could. <laughs> yeah. But this is you here, like, after that's all of That's the night she got out of hot. She, she was operated on the Tuesday, and then that's three days later, the Friday. My yeah. God. She was allowed to go I home. think I look great there. <laughs> if you'd just seen me a few days before. Yeah. Bearing in mind that, uh, yeah. When you were in high dependency, yeah. that, uh, yeah, you had a reaction, mm -hmm. and um, it wasn't it wasn't a good reaction. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, and it, because the first time I was allowed to be there, so mm -hmm. yeah, and it's the same for so many people who are in hospital for serious surgeries. Um, they can have somebody beside them. Generally, this time I couldn't go in because mm -hmm. of COVID. So I think that's why they let you go home that bit early mm -hmm. because if somebody's there, how in, was that, Martin, not being able to be there? And when oh, you that was know pay, that was. Just that was awful. The, the day of the surgery, yeah. I could. I said I can't work that day. Mm -hmm. um, but it's gas. Like, had, are you still on there? I told him to work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So I took that day off uh, because I, I I wouldn't be able to focus. Mm. Um, and uh, the following day, I went back in uh, because that night, the, after her surgery, later that night, she <laughs> rang me. <laughs> She's in high dependency, and I thought, I, I'm, 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 married to, I'm married to Superwoman. Oh, <laughs> but the one thing I would say, if there's a message for anyone out there, it's trust your gut. Yes. And yeah. unfortunately, shop around. And shop around. Don't just go with one opinion. Get a yeah. few different Get opinions. Few and and go with your gut. I always go with my gut. It never, ever puts me off. Because you're doing... You're, you look great. Yeah, you do. Aww. You look amazing. You look amazing. You look fantastic. Aww. Thank but, you. But you're in good form. <laughs> I'm in great form. Yeah, yeah. I'm in great form. You were at a wedding there recently. Your yes. son got oh, married. Yes. It was all Two weeks fabulous. Family day. That was a gorgeous day. <laughs> you have to work day, on the day. <laughs> no, in my mind, I didn't you stop her. Well, she, was, she, was she was directing. I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. It's so lovely to see you both Aww. here. Two lovely of the to see best. you too. It's really just is. wonderful. Yeah. And it's strange to be interviewed by you. <laughs> yeah. He's only giving me notes after on how bad I am. That's Not just at what all. is going to happen. Listen, it is great to see you, and it's great that you're looking so well and that you are well and, and all the news is good so it, thankfully no, no further you. treatment please god it's great yeah and it's great to see you McCarthy both. and martin Thank king you. six o'clock you'll see him on your, on your television streets virgin media one are you in tonight tony hadley's on james oh. may is on it's going to be a good show oh look at that <laughs> name <laughs> join our show we're not in competition at all we still love each other thank you so much oh. guys it's a pleasure having you here